Hi, and welcome back to The Decked. I am the author stylist, Rebecca and Brian, but you can call me Beck. <laughs> I just got a new phone, and I don't know exactly where the camera is, so I'm just going to kind of look in this general area and hope it's okay for this video. This is going up on February 13th, which is the day before my 39th birthday. So as I said in my last video, we are doing a month of Beck-themed content. We're featuring some of my favorite things. So last week we talked about France, and today we are talking about my books, the Rock and Austin series. These contain some of my favorite things, such as their romantic comedies, and they're based on some of my favorite books, the books by Jane Austen. So we are going to do online shopping today for each of my Rock and Austin heroines. So let me introduce you to them first. First we have Britt Byers in Britt with the Pink Hair, and you can see her in the background too. This book is based on Emma by Jane Austen. Britt is a socialite and she is the daughter of an aging rock star, Lonnie Byers. And she dresses in all black, so we're going to be looking for black designer stuff with Britt, which will be fun. Then we have Sharnita Quickly who is my Elizabeth Bennett of the series from Pride and Prejudice. Sharnita is a, well, she starts out as a bartender in the nightclub Brit's dad owns. So that's the connection there. And then finally, we have Jenna Hubbard in Jenna with the Red Pen. Jenna is a film director, and she ends up making uh, a movie based on the life of Lonnie Byers, Brit's dad. So there's the connection there. I kind of found a couple websites that would work for each of the women, and we're going to try to come up with a an, uh, complete outfit for each of them. For Brit, we are going to start at, we'll probably actually do all of it, at netaporte.com. We want to look for black, textured, um, fashionable clothing for Brit buyers. So, let's see, we'll start with... Let's just go to all clothing. I think probably a dress, but really needs to be black. This is fun. I could totally see Brit in that. This is funny. Actually, I just saw Cynthia Nixon from Sex in the City on wearing this in an interview. That's kind of cool. This is definitely this asymmetrical situation. That's definitely something Brit would wear. Um, Brit has, um, she's kind of hourglass shape, but she's definitely has a bigger bust that she likes to show off. So maybe, maybe this, but maybe something a little more a cleavage bearing as well. Stirrup pants. Can you believe stirrup pants are back? Do you remember stirrup pants from the 90s? I used to wear those in grade school, and I'm really tall, which I mentioned before, so they, <laughs> they were always like, stretch as far as they could possibly go. It was... An uncomfortable situation, and I can't wait till my daughter experiences it, too. <laughs> I want that for myself. Oh, I want that for myself. I'm not going to spend two grand on it, but I would love to roll into an event or a writer's conference wearing this exact suit. I would love it. Ugh, goals. <laughs> that is super fun. She'd probably wear that by itself. Ve vegan leather jumpsuit. I mean, it, it, they're calling it a jumpsuit. It's overalls. So let's let's just be quite clear about that. I did want to find um, okay, like a sheer black top, like maybe a crop top to wear underneath. What? That's fine. We don't need to stay at Net a Porte. I'm gonna go to Shop Style really quick because I do have a vision for this sheer black. Top. This could be fun. And look, it's with leather pants. I was going to pair this with the, uh, where is it? Did I not? Let's keep that open. So this with like this sticking out. I kind of like it better with the regular leather pants, but maybe, maybe. This is fun. This, yeah, this I like. This I like a lot. This totally 
screams Brit to me. What did I say? Leather pants are in. Everybody's wearing leather pants right now. And it used to be like the leather. Um, I just got a pair of the leather Spanx faux leather leggings. Everyone's wearing those. Um, now it's more like wider legged leather pants. Um, so yeah, why not? This top is, yeah, perfectly Brit. So yes, I love this. It's cool. I could see that with like maybe a leather skirt. The big puffy sleeve one, I would I would pair that with like a leather pleated like schoolgirl skirt. I kind of want to do that now. <laughs> maybe I'll open that one back up too. We'll do two, two quick ones for Brit. Where is that puffy? Yeah, so yeah, this with like a pleated leather schoolgirl skirt. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, loving it, loving it. And then this underneath. No, hate it. <laughs> underneath those. Okay, so we'll put those two things together. We'll, we'll kind of do two. Um, all right, so let me go back to here. Yeah, I want that, and I want that. Those two shirts. And then I want a pleated leather mm, mini skirt. That'll work. That'll work. Ooh, that'll work even better. That's tiny. <laughs> How long is that? That's very tiny. That's like a belt. I mean, all right, that's four models only. This one is maybe a little more promising. Yeah, um, I think that one is good. So <laughs> we'll go with that. This is kind of fun. It's very short. Um, but I actually like it. So maybe that one. We'll try that one and we'll try that one. Kind of think it would look better with this one though. Yep, a whole whole vibe. <clears throat> so let's try that. That and that and then this and the uh, those. Love it. Now we need to find some shoes. <clears throat> now Brit is all about black like I said. However with her shoes I think her shoes would be the place where she would bring in a pop of color. So they're showing a lot of these leather pants with like strappy sandals. So we could definitely go that route. I know I keep seeing these, these neon ones, probably because it's my brand color. So I'm getting exciting. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Brit in these. Let's let's find our bag. Oh, is that a bag? This is kind of cute, though. On your wrist or whatever. Where was that one? That's kind of fun and different, hey? How does it open? Let's find out. Okay. And also, what would fit in there? You would need, like, one of those flip phones for even for it to even fit in there. But, I mean, it's kind of fun, and it, it is hands-free because it's just on your wrist. So... Does it match the shoes? What do we get for shoes? Um, well, hardware doesn't really need to match these days. So why not? So here's what we came up with for Britt Byers' final look. And we, we came up with two. And now let's move on to Sharnita. Sharnita is a bartender. She's Dominican. She's a runner. So she wears a lot of... Um, I mean, she, she works at a bar, right? So she's going to be in black leggings a lot. She's also a runner, so she's going to have black leggings. So I think we're going to start at Lululemon and then accessorize from there. So I wanted to start at Lululemon, and then this is based in Canada, in Toronto area. So I wanted to bring in like a cool Canadian vibe to it. So then we're going to go to Garage to find her a cool top. So Lululemon. We just need some simple black leggings. Just want a pair of black leggings. That could take her for a day working at the bar, um, throw on a cute top over it, and then go out to the club. We are gonna go ahead and grab one of these black leggings. And then I went ahead over to Garage.
um, going out tops. There's a category for it. Hooray. The book is called Trinity with the Blue Nails. She's very um, attracted to bright colors. This top would actually match her nails really perfectly and will look great on Charnita, so I'm going to pop that open. This one's kind of fun too. I'm kind of liking the blue. This orange would be a nice contrast to her nails, so I'm kind of digging that too. So I see Charnita is just super cool and chill and someone who doesn't try too hard. She's just innately stylish and she doesn't have to put much effort into her look and she just looks good. So she would probably roll into a store and buy things that just look cute and just by putting them on her body they would look good. That's, I kind of like that. So yeah, this is kind of... Eh. I mean, I don't mind the idea of this with like a legging, so that's fine. Let's see what we have. The pink is kind of fun and it would look good with... Um, I definitely don't want to do black. She would definitely look like a bright color. The chartreuse fern green is all right. I can just put all of them in my brand colors. How funny would that be? Red's kind of spicy. Could put her in a red. All right, so let's go with like, let's go with the pink for her. Why not? I'm kind of, I am kind of liking the red. I mean, she's Latin, right? So I guess, I guess sure, we'll, we'll put her in a red. We'll, we'll spice her. She's already spicy. We'll spice her up. Um, okay. So that, her, um, leggings, and then we need some shoes. You know what? Don't fight it. We're just going to put them all in my brand colors. I've stopped caring. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this would look good with her blue nails anyway, and with her skin tone. So we're going to do that. Probably do want maybe a necklace with this, like maybe a long pendant kind of necklace. Choker. Kind of want something long, like this. This is what I was uh, envisioning. Yeah, we'll put that on with it too. I like it. I like, uh, let's just go to Zappos real quick and find what we can do for like sandals. You know what I want to do? I know what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this. I got this. So strappy heel. Strappy heel samples. You're overthinking this. No, I know what I'm doing now. I saw this on another website. They were on net a -Porte. There we go. Oh, look at this. <clears throat> That's not good. Okay, maybe not these because the ratings are really bad, but I want the ones that like, I want her to like wrap it over. I want these, but I want her to wrap them over the top, uh, the bottom of her. Yeah. Okay. Strappy. What are these called? Sandals. Yeah, like that. Yes, but I want her to wrap them over the bottom of her um, her leggings. So that's what I want. Strappy sandals. That's exactly what I want her to do. What are these? Those are fun. Yeah, perfect. So we got Charnita's going out look. Um, that will totally work for her. Now we will finish with Jenna. Jenna lives in LA, but she dr definitely dresses more Northern California than Southern California. She's in the movie business. She does spend some time in Vancouver um, filming. Her style is definitely more kind of casual, outdoorsy, utilitarian. So I feel like she would definitely have an item from Patagonia, um, maybe outerwear from Patagonia. And you can kind of tell, I mean, this on the cover. This is kind of the inspiration for what she wore to Sundance. She went to Sundance Film Festival. So she does spend some time in mountainous areas that have snow and cold and stuff like that. So 
I want to find her a jacket from Patagonia, or like a sweater, like a fleece from Patagonia. And then she would pick up basics from a place like Uniqlo, or she would still, she's, Jenna is very petite, so she would probably still fit into some of the stuff she had in high school from like Paxson. So, um, we're gonna kind of quick go through Jenna, see what she would wear on the job. Women's fleece, sweatshirts and hoodies. Yeah, something like that. So she would have like one workhorse of a sweatshirt from Patagonia. Colors is this coming? Maybe. Eh, I like the red. <clears throat> Or the white again. Or maybe even the gray. Gray would be okay. Alright, so let's just say, let's go with the gray. Okay, now let's go to something like Pack Sun. Find a pair of jeans. Okay, so these would be from jeans, right? Or from, from jeans. They would probably be from high school. So, I mean, I know boot cut is coming back, but boot cut was also fashionable in high school. I could totally see Jenna wearing these jeans. Yeah, hardcore. Jenna would be rocking those jeans. Let's go to the Lucky Brand. Find some tops there. So women tops, knit tops, I guess. Yeah, so I could see her in something just like a really simple little Henley. This is kind of cute. Why not? We'll go with that. And then I need to find some shoes. I know Lucky has shoes. Correct. Yeah, Lucky has shoes. Again, she is working on a film set. She's got to do a lot of moving, a lot of walking around. So um, she, Jenna would be in sneakers, most likely. We'll put Jenna in sneakers boot cut pants, uh, kind of just a simple top and a sweatshirt over top. Here's the final Jenna look. As you can see, she's very casual, but yet, you know, cute. I hope you enjoyed meeting the three ladies of the Rockin' Austin series. Tune in next week. I'm going to hopefully have a really fun episode from Orlando, Florida. Really excited about that. Um, so you're going to see some of my favorite things while I'm on vacation at Disney and uh, Universal Orlando. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested, pick up the Rock and Austin series and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.